Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. Today we're gonna talk about most requested video on this channel. That's how to create a single event details page with Elementor. As we already know, Elementor is an excellent tool or plugin that allows us to create visually stunning pages or design visually stunning pages for WordPress using drag and drop or blog based website builder. For this tutorial, you will require Elementor to be installed on your website and Elementor Pro add-on as well. So I have installed Elementor and Elementor Pro on this demo website over here that we're gonna use today to show you how you can actually design a single event details page with Elementor Pro. But keep in mind, uh, like usually Elementor designs like static pages uh, on the front end side. It's not like that. You can create a template for Elementor Pro that will actually show off all the other events you have in the website in a similar format. So it's going to actually override our default template that we can see on our website when uh, visiting an uh, event. So why not? Let's open our front end side and we will see what we are talking about. So this is the default event details page we used to see and as you can see this page over here will get overwritten with that Elementor template we're gonna create. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So as I said you will require Elementor Pro for that and firstly we're gonna go to our template section over here right below Elementor. So in this page you will manage your template that you have created for Elementor in the website. So since we are adding a new template, let's click on add new and on this pop-up, we will select single from the drop down on our first option. So it says select the type of template you want to work on. So we're going to select single and then on the select post type, you will see all the post types available in the website. So we have our regular post our page, our event, organizer, venue and 404 page. So since we are creating a single event details page, we want to select the event option. So in this similar format, you can actually create organizer or venue page designs as well. But let's not talk about that at this moment. Let's focus on event and you can name your template. Let's say new design or single event. And we can click on this green button over here. It's going to take a couple of seconds to load the Elementor library in the page and from where we can actually design our page. So as you can see, it's a library pop up over here. It says you haven't saved any templates yet. We can actually close this one over here. Our designing team has designed a template for you to use. You can just import it on Elementor and uh, configure it and it will show up in the front end side. The design looks good as well that we're going to take more look into later on on this video. But let's go ahead and create the page from scratch. So you will have a basic idea like how to do it properly. So over here, you will see that we have a uh, lots of elements over here in the left hand side so there are like basic elements pro elements as well that you can choose from to create a beautiful website or a page layout over here so in this search bar over here we're gonna search for single event as you can see we have five blocks that's available to use for our single event details page so this fields over here i'll show you what it does uh, in a short moment. So these fields over here are available to build our page with. So let's drag this single event field over here into our page and we're gonna take more look into it very shortly. So this field over here that we just drag single event field, it's a unified shortcode type of scenario that we can use this block we can actually use to display multiple types of information from the database related to a event. So over here, uh, this layout designer is now currently taking the saying thank you event over here that we can see. Let me open that. So this event over here as an example or to guide. And as you can see, by default, it's printing the single event name, right? So let's actually select 
the drop down over here that says event field we can see we have a like vast majority of options over here available so if we go through each of them we will see the most of them are pretty much self-explanatory we have event type title category online event zip code event location banner description registration email on url video url start time start date end time end date registration deadline organizer venues view count ticket type and share event right so we can select any of the uh, option over here and that information will show up over here so that's how you actually include this uh, block into Elementor to display event details dynamically on the single event details page. Let's make that clear. Now we can actually select one option over here. So that will show the event title field over here. So you can even use HTML prefix and suffix for this template over here or the block over here as well using these two fields over here. And styling them is very easy you can click on advance and over here you can play with all the styling options you can even use custom css over here as well you can like play with the motion effect the background the border positioning like and the responsiveness of the block attributes as well so custom attributes we have over here that we can select from the database as well see these are the available attributes so let's play with the custom CSS and make our title a little bigger than it is currently, right? How we can do that? Uh, Elementor allows us to do that very easily. We can just type over here, selector, wrap our parentheses and type in, let's set to font size as 40 pixel. So as you can see, it updated instantly on the site over here. So now it looks like a heading for us, right? So we can actually now follow this similar fashion. Now we can actually go back to our Elementor dashboard. So now let's add some other fields over here to display the event correctly. Like just an event heading is not enough for an event, right? So let's add the organizer and venue section to our event. Uh, yeah, I know the event looks like much empty as of now, but bear with me. We will design a working Elementor single event details by the end of this video. So let's uh, create a row and divide it to two sections. We can do that from here actually. And as you can see, uh, we have two sections over here that are divided by half. So that's two column for us. We will go back to our dashboard and we will search for single event again. Now we're gonna actually drop our single event organizer on the left. And now let's add the single event venue on the other side. So like this. So as you can see, since our uh, website or since this event doesn't have a venue already assigned into it, it just shows a placeholder, but that's all right. But when you have a venue, it will show up over here by the single venue block. So now uh, what we can do, so let's create another section over here at the top where we will actually add a image or the event banner. So we're going to search for single event again and we can actually put single event field from where we will choose our event banner so this is how simple it is you see we selected event banner event field from here that's showing up over here and we have our event title or header over here now let's create some more design layouts over here that we will use for this event over here so now we can actually create a uh, one third column so let's drag it over here so we have the heading over here and this sections over here we're going to use to divide our event uh, details such as date and time over here and the event uh, summary or the description over here so what we can do we can click here and we're going to search for single event again and we're going to click on single event field and we will select the description and that will actually fill out our uh, entire section over here with event description. Now we can click here. So uh, this field we just dragged in over here. We're gonna select our event start time. So that shows up over here. We can actually say a uh, start time that will uh, print out over here as well. So let's uh, add a couple of the date and time uh, fields over here. We're gonna select single event field once again and we're gonna select our start date right let's add start 
date over here so this is how you can add like uh, all of the information one by one gradually so let's add the end date as well since why not right so let's add uh, the another field we're gonna choose the end time and we're gonna start typing in time over here and we're gonna again add our select event field over here and we're gonna select our end date so i, I guess uh, by now you get the basic idea the single event field block allows us to uh, fetch any data we want from the database and show it on a elementor block so you see the idea over here and you can like of course customize this uh, all uh, elements over here with your own styling and you can make them look more appealing i know this design over here is very basic it's nothing appealing at all but i am no expert designer but i am here just to guide you about how to do it properly i hope you understood how to design the page using elementor and the single event fields over here and one thing i didn't talk about is the single event summary that will actually print out uh, the summary design for the single event uh, that we can uh, take a look at if you want that let's put it over here eh? and we will see the single event summary so see this is the single event summary that it looks like let's not uh, keep it it's it's not really convenient and another field i didn't talk about that's the single event one this one allows you to show a uh, static single event details by uh, by this block so remember how i talked about our team has already created a design for you that you can actually take and move further with it right so let's go back to our uh, dashboard and we will see that design in action let's not save this change as it's bogus anyway it doesn't look good to be honest so let's go to templates i actually already imported that file of mine uh, from our team over here as you can see it's over here as name single event test i have already imported it onto the website how you can import a template you ask it's pretty simple you can just click over here on import template you can choose file and you will need to import a json file into your website if you click this and click open it will import the template from the json file so we have the single event details that we just imported right let's go to edit with elementor and we will see the design for ourselves so as you can see we have the template over here that looks like this right so this is the template our team has created for us to use but uh, previously i didn't want to use this template from the scratch so it would make confusion but since you know the basic about how to do it yourself now you can actually take this uh, template and you can play around with it improve its design or even you are curious or adventurous you can even create a template from scratch by the way if you are creating an event from sketch let us know in the comment as well we will love to feature your elementor template so keeping that aside so let's see uh, this template over here what we have we have event banner here and the event details such as the start date end date and the start time end time location registration deadline event type category and this one what is this this is the registration email and we have event title here uh, a view count our description and our video url okay then we have two layout section over here one organizer one venue and then we have our event tags and the event sharing buttons so now we actually need to bind the template for ourselves so since we are working with a predefined template or imported template we need to bind this template with our single event details page this step are exactly similar if we worked with a template from scratch as well instead of the update you would see a publish button over here but let's click this button you will see this the public settings uh, if you do not see a original condition over here displayed by default that would actually show up when you are creating the template from scratch and we selected the single then event as our post type but since it's a uh, uh, imported template it doesn't have it over here so it makes a better demonstration anyway so let's click on add condition keep the uh, first tag as include and we will select the uh, drop down over here and we will select events right so make sure it's event under the event over here keep it all over here as well 
so make sure when you are publishing the template from scratch it makes it has the uh, same condition over here so what it will do it will go ahead and include this template for all the events single details page over here right so now we can actually save and close this pop-up so now hopefully we activated this uh, template for our single event details page so let's go ahead and reload this page and voila we indeed activated the new single event details page designed using elementor so as you can see the single event details page design now looks different right so we have our event banner in center we have the details sidebar on the right hand side it looks more elegant as well i must say that our designer did a very good job of representing a modern layout and as you can see uh, we have our event title view count and our event description here uh, since we do not have a venue it's showing nothing over here our organizer details and we do not have tags for this event so it's not showing up over here we have the share buttons over here and all of the other details over here on this left hand sidebar over here don't worry i will leave the exported json file for this template over here in a github so you can download it and play around with it if you want or you can create your own thank you for coming along on this long video about elementor pro and how to create a single event details template using elementor so leave a like on this video if you found the video uh, helpful we usually make this kind of straight to the content guides and walkthroughs for workplace and if you're enjoying the content so far a sub to the channel would be amazing being that said i'm sharad saying goodbye thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one